إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مضل له وما يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لا شريك له في ربوبيته وألوهيته وأسمائه وصفاته وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى زواجه يا طاهرات أمهات المؤمنين وعلى خلفاء الراشدين وعلى أصحابه يجمعين وعلى كل من اتبعهم إحسان إلى يوم الدين قال الله عز وجل في القرآن الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار أما بعد All praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise him, we thank him, we glorify him We seek his help and aid and we ask Allah to forgive us We ask Allah to protect us We ask Allah to keep us rightly guided We seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our own selves And from the sins that we commit Indeed, whoever Allah guides, there is none who can lead astray. And whoever he causes to go astray, there is none who can guide. We ask the brothers to come up closer, inshallah, come up closer. <clears throat> oh Muslims, the question that is on everyone's mind, the question that everyone is asking about is when will the victory of Allah come? When will the victory of Allah come? When will Allah's victory come to us from what we are seeing with our Muslim brothers and sisters in Gaza being persecuted? Everyone is asking, when will the victory of Allah come? The question then, with the current situation that we are in as an ummah today, the question then should be how or what steps can we take to rectify the situation the Ummah is in today. And I want to talk about one of the greatest means to alleviate and to remedy and to rectify. One of the greatest means to rectify the situation of the Ummah today, one of the greatest asbab, one of the greatest reasons for the help of Allah and for the victory of Allah, and that is to unite as one ummah. That is the reason for victory from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To unite as an ummah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is al-ahad, the one and only, the one who la ilaha illa ghayruh, the one who there is none deserves to be worshipped except him. He is the one that when the world differ, in their books and their scriptures, he revealed the book. He revealed the one book, the Quran, to us. And he is the one, when the world differ, in their prophets and messengers, he sent us the final prophet and messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he is the one, when the world differ, with all their religions, he united them upon one single religion, upon one single religion, Al-Islam. And he is the one who, when the world differ in their direction, he united us upon one Qibla, one direction that we turn to in our prayers. So to show us the importance of unity, 
to show us the importance of being uniform and being together, don't you think that the one who united us in worship, the one who united us upon one creator, the one who united us upon one dean, one way of life, the one who united us upon one book, the one who united us upon one messenger, one prophet, the one who united us upon one Qibla. Don't you think that he wants us to unite upon one Ummah? Don't you think he wants us to unite as one Ummah? Inna hadhihi ummatukum ummatun wahidah wa ana rabbukum fa'budun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is your nation. This is your Ummah. One nation, one Ummah, and I'm your Lord, so worship me alone. This is a direct command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a direct command from Allah that you are one Ummah. Unity is an obligation on this Ummah. Unity is wajib. It is an obligation. It is not something that is upon our discretion. It is not something that we have to say in the matter that we have any say in it. It is wajib, it is obligatory, it is compulsory from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is an obligation upon us as an ummah that you unite, that we unite as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and hold tight, all of you, to the rope of Allah, and do not differ. Do not be divided. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu an, he said, the rope of Allah is the Quran. The rope of Allah is the book of Allah. On another narration, he says, the rope of Allah, hablullah al-jama'ah, that the rope of Allah is the ummah. The jama'ah, the entire body of this ummah. Now I want you to contemplate on this ayah. I want you to contemplate on this ayah. And hold firmly to the rope of Allah and do not differ. Do not be divided. But I want you to contemplate on this ayah, on what is happening today in Gaza. I want you to contemplate on this ayah based on what is happening to our brothers and sisters in Gaza. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues. وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ And remember Allah's favor upon you when you were all enemies to each other. Remember, O Muslims, when you were too busy going around saying, I'm an Arab. I'm a Pakistani, I'm an Indian, I'm a Guyanese, I am an American, you are too busy, I'm a Yemeni, I'm an Emirati, you are too busy with your nationalism and you are proud of where you're from, you are proud of your borders that were created by your enemy. Remember that time, do you remember that time when you became so proud of your borders proud of your citizenship and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ and then he united you he united your hearts after the situation that started in Gaza we became united Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala united our hearts when we saw what was happening to our brothers and sisters in Gaza what happened to, to, to our brothers and sisters in Gaza? Borders doesn't matter anymore. Citizenship doesn't matter anymore. We don't think that I'm a Yemeni anymore. We don't think I'm an American anymore. We don't think that I am from, I'm an Arab. I'm a Saudi. We don't think like that anymore. We, we, we remember all these brothers and sisters in Gaza that don't speak our language. They don't share the same culture as us, the same color as us, the same dialect as us. They don't have the same citizenship as us, yet they share one important thing with us. And that is, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. 
That is what bind us together. That is what we share together. And that is what united us together. La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا So after this happened, after the situation of our Muslims in Gaza, فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا And so you became with the virtue and the blessings of Allah, brothers. You support each other. You became brothers. You became brothers to each other. What united you? It wasn't your borders. It wasn't your nationality. It wasn't Nasabiya. It wasn't your citizenship. It was Tawheed. It was Tawheed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is what united us. So all of a sudden we forgot who is black and who is white. All of a sudden we forgot who is American and who is Yemeni. We all only think about that we have to come together and support our brothers and our sisters in Gaza. But remember that we are one Ummah. We remember that we are one Ummah. We are like one body, that when one part, one limb aches, then the entire body is in discomfort. The entire body is being affected. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكُنْتُمْ عَلَى شَفَى حُفْرَةٍ مِنَ النَّارِ that it wasn't long before that, that you were on the brink of the pit of the fire. Because we were too busy arguing with each other. We were too busy fighting with each other, disputing with each other. We were too busy making takfir of one another. We were too busy making tabdir of one another. We were too busy that this person's a kafir, this one is a mubtadir. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Give us this wake up call, then we became united. So, this person is going to Nar. We used to say, This person is going to Jahannam. I'm the only one who will be saved. Me and my group are the only ones going to Jannah. We were on the brink of the pit of the hellfire. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, minha. And Allah is the one who saved us from it. Allah is the one who saved us from being destruction. Wallahi, he saved us through many things and one of, one of them is the wake-up call. One of them is the wake-up call that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put before us. It's a wake-up call for the entire ummah to remind us about our true purpose, to remind us our true purpose and, and for us to unite as one ummah. And oh brothers and oh my, my Muslim brothers and sisters, this is the wake up call for us. And how amazing and optimistic we feel when we see our brothers and sisters demonstrate perfect Iman in Allah. When they teach us tawakkul in Allah. When they teach us to hold on to the rope of Allah. When they teach us hasbi Allah wa ni'mal wakil, that Allah is sufficient for us. When they teach us about unity, being uplifted by their struggles, being uplifted even though losing everything in the dunya and still holding on, still they're holding on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah says, كَذَلِكَ يُبَيِّنُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ آيَاتِهِ And like that, Allah, He makes clear His signs to you. And this is a wake-up call to you, O Muslims. That this is a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a wake-up call for each and every one of us. That we don't want to squander this opportunity. Allah has given us this light, this opportunity. That if you were not praying your salah, this is the time that you should start praying your salah. If you are distanced from Allah, this is the time that you should come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a wake-up call for us. Why it's a wake-up call? So that you may be guided. So that you may be guided.
Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillahi hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fih Rabbi syrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlal ugnata min lisani yafqahu qawli Amma ba'd O Muslims Wallahi If these events that we are witnessing If these events that we are witnessing day in and day out From our brothers and sisters being suffered and being oppressed in Gaza if these events does nothing to us, then we need to check our iman. We need to check our iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So th these events should bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If these events are not making the one who left their salah turn back to salah, then you need to check your iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, O Muslims, now is the time for us to be that ummah. That Ummah Wahida, that united Ummah. Now is the time for us to be that Ummah. Waltakum minkum Ummah tu yadauna ila al khair. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah goes on to say, and let there be a group amongst you who calls towards good, calls towards this deen, calls towards the tawheed of Allah, calls towards Holding on to the rope of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرُ And they command. They don't only call to Allah. What else they do? They command towards right, towards goodness. يَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرُ And they command what is good. And they forbid what is evil. So now is the time more than ever. To call towards good. Now is the time more than ever to speak out against evil, to speak out against the oppression. Now is the time more than ever to demonstrate that you're really adhering to the command of Allah and speaking out against the oppression against our Muslim brothers and sisters. <coughs> now is the time to call out what is, what is inhumane. Now is the time to speak out against inhumane behavior and action. And let's not be shy. Let's not be shy and be afraid. Let's not be shy and be afraid that we, there will be repercussions. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to do. Let us not be afraid and to speak out. Let us not be shy to speak out against oppression against our brothers and sisters in Gaza. So let's educate the world. Let's educate the world about the greatest man that taught us about humanity. The greatest man, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he is the one who taught us about humanity. He is the one who taught us how to stop oppression. And then Allah says, "Wa ulaika humul muflihun," and then maybe we will be from those who are successful. Then maybe when we, we speak out against evil, we speak out against oppression without fear, then you will be successful. So beware, O Muslims, beware. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us to beware. So beware. Do not be like those who split into sects and into groups and started to differ when the clear proofs have come to them after all of this after all that has happened don't go back to your nationalism don't go back to your sectarianism don't go back to your your borders and citizenship we are one ummah remember what united us la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah so don't go back to your nationalism, your nasabiyah. We've had enough of that sectarianism. Come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Come back to Allah and reform the ummah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna hadhi ummatukum ummatun wahida. Wa ana rabbukum fattakun. Allah says, surely this is your religion. This is your nation. This is your ummah. It is but one ummah, and I'm your Lord, so fear me alone. So this is the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
But what would we, what we do instead? What we do instead, O Muslims? Fataqattau amrahum baynahum zubura. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, we decided to divide into different sects. We divide into different groups. We divide, I follow this sect. I follow this madhab. I follow this group that I created. My sect is going to Jannah and yours is going to the Nar. I follow this group because I created it. I follow this sheikh and you follow that maulana. I don't follow your maulana. Allah says, Kullu hizbin bima ladayhim farihun. Every sect is happy and excited with what they have, rejoicing with, with what they have. Each of us take pride in our groups. Each of us, we take pride in our sect and in our sheikh and in our maulana, not taking pride in what, in what Allah honored us with. Not taking pride in what Allah honored us with. Allah Azza wa Jal honored us with Islam. This is the honor. And when we start to invite towards sect and towards different groups, and we, 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 we don't honor what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has bonded us with, well then, we will be humiliated. So Allah honored us through Islam. He didn't honor us through any sect. He didn't honor us through any race. He didn't honor us through any, any uh, citizenship. He didn't honor us through anything but Islam. And as long as we stick to Islam, we will be honored. We will have honor. And the honor will remain with us. But the minute that we turn away, the minute that we turn away from the honor, and the minute that we turn away from the means that made us honorable people then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will humiliate us again but how can we unite if we don't agree on everything one may say how can we unite if we don't agree on everything well does it mean now that I know something from Quran and Sunnah and my brother is not following that something from Quran and Sunnah now I abandon him does it mean that I abandon him because he is not follow the same brand of Islam that I am following? Does it mean now that I abandon him because he is not from my group and I no longer call him my brother? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, وَأَتِيُوا اللَّهَ وَأَتِيُوا رَسُولُ Obey Allah and the Messenger. وَلَا تَنَازَعُوا فَتَفْشَلُوا وَتَذْهَبَ رِيحُكُمْ and don't differ with one another. Don't have disputes with one another, for you will be discouraged. And your determination will become weakened. So your determination will become weakened. And as an ummah, you will be discouraged. And you will start busy yourself disputing and fighting against each other. You're, you're too busy getting into arguments and disputes. My brothers and sisters, the time, there's a time and place for discussion. But when your brother is being beaten and attacked, when your brother, think about it, if your blood brother or sister is being attacked, although you don't see eye to eye, although you don't get along, if an outsider was to attack him or her, you will step in. You will step in and you will have his back. You will try to protect him the same way it has to be for the ummah. The same way it has to be for your, blood, your brother in the deen. Because this is the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa It is stronger than bloodline. It is stronger than blood bond. So this is what is lacking from the ummah today. This is what is lacking from the Ummah today that we need to unite upon Tawheed and we need to unite upon Amr bil Ma'roof and Nahi and al Munkar. And this is when we do this and we look out for each other. Then, then the question we ask in the beginning when will the victory of Allah come? Then we will see the victory of Allah. Then we will see the victory of Allah. But we have to unite as one Ummah. 
We have to unite as one body. O oh, Muslims, this is not the time for us to, to dispute and argue up, up with each other. It is the time for us to unite with each other. It is the time, this is a wake-up call for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us the situation of our brothers and sisters being oppressed. It is the time for us to capitalize and for us to unite as one ummah. And then we will see the victory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us. We ask Allah, Ya Allah, help us to unite as one ummah. Ya Allah, help us to unite as one ummah. Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help our brothers and sisters in Gaza. <coughs> help our brothers and sisters in Palestine. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rectify the affairs of the Muslims in Palestine. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make it easy for them, Ya Allah. Make it easy for them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask you, Ya Allah, make it easy for them, Ya Allah. And help us to unite upon Quran and Sunnah. Help us to unite upon Tawheed. And help us to love each other for your sake, Ya Allah. Allahumma asli ahwal al-Muslimina fi Filistin. Allahumma asli ahwal al-Muslimina fi Filistin. Allahumma asli ahwal al-Muslimina fi Filistin wa fi kulli makan. Ya dhal jalali wal ikram. Allahumma innahum maglubuna fantasir lahum. Allahumma innahum maglubuna fantasir lahum. Rabbana afrig alayhim sabrun wa thabbit aqadamahum. Wansuruhum ala al-qawm al-kafirin. Allahumma munzilu al-kitab. Wa mujriyu al-sahab. Wa hazimu al-ahzab. Ihzim a'da'ana wa ansurna alayhim. Allahumma anjil muslimin al-mustada'afina fi Gaza. Allahumma anjil muslimin al-mustada'afina fi Gaza. اللهم استر أوراتهم وآمن روعاتهم وأحفظهم بين أيديهم ومن خلفهم وعن عيمانهم وعن شمائلهم ومن فوقهم اللهم مكر لهم وكفهم بما شئت إن تنصرهم فلا غالب لهم وإن تخذلهم فمن ذا الذي ينصرهم من بعدك اللهم اجمع كلمتنا ووحد صفوفنا اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الافتراق والاختلاف اللهم من أرادنا وأراد بأمتنا بسوء فاشغله بنفسه ورد كيدهم واجعل تدبيرهم تدبيرا ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقين أذاب النار اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر عداء الدين اللهم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم يا مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك يا حي يا قيوم وبرحمتك نستغيث أصلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرفة عين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وقيم الصلاة